Welcome back to JB Reviews. I have one of my buddies, Gabe, here today, and he is truck shopping. He he wanted a Tundra. I was like, bro, you can't go to no, <laughs> you can't go to that American truck from Japan. You got to go to a, a real American truck. I'm just kidding. I, I'm listening. I'm listening to you, man. I'm listening to you. <laughs> well, listen. We wanted to go and look at everything. So right now we're driving in a 2020. Three, I believe, Ram 1500. This truck's used, actually. I had no idea it was used. But I wanted to show him a GMC side-by-side. -side. Unfortunately, the Ford store is too far away. You can take a left right here, too. And the Ford store that's in town, they don't like me, so we ain't going there. So let's go ahead and put this Ram side-by-side -side with the GMC. I don't know what the inventory is over there, but we'll figure out if they have something pretty comparable to this. Now, he did just tell me he likes the Limited, but he might like the Rebel better. I like the two-tone colors uh, a lot. The, the, this is just black on black, which does look great. Mm -hmm. and the leather and the stitching is awesome. I do like that. I, my daily driver has been a Porsche Cayenne uh, for the last four years, so I'm coming into this from that. It looks very pretty, pretty high end for like a like a you're gonna get in a truck, right? You get yeah. A truck. It's pretty high end. I like it. Nice. All right, so here are the half tons right here. See, these have diesels, mm. and that right there is half ton the, diesel. Half ton diesel, yep. And these are gonna get you that feeling coming. There's a Denali right there. There was a Denali parked up front too. Yeah, that was HD though. That looked, okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and go back to the other side. They had a, a ultimate I wanted to put this up against. So okay. let's go back Sounds that way. Good. All right, I wanna get your reaction on this AT4X over here. What do you think about this one? Let me see it, the white one? Yeah, what do you think about that? Um, yeah. You know what? <laughs> Okay. Wow. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> keep going. You don't like those off-road bumpers. That's what it is. <laughs> so, something didn't just fly out at me. I, 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 I didn't love it, but I'll, I'll get a better look later. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's all right. All right. Let me, we're gonna go ahead and pull the key to a Denali Ultimate. Have you ever seen a Denali Ultimate before? I don't think I have. I don't okay. think I've seen the Ultimate. No. Oh, okay. No. Well, this you is got... all new for me. I'm, I'm a Toyota guy, so. I gotta get off that bandwagon and be open here. Yeah, so. I know. Well, be ready to be amazed. Right. This thing is awesome. I'm ready. Alrighty, so I have Gabe behind me. I told him I don't want him to see the interior in this truck quite yet because I want to get his reaction on this one. So I've always said Ram has the best interior. Let's see if that's the case because he loves the Ram. And so I want to see if he's going to have the same reaction that I have when I get inside the Ram versus this Denali Ultimate. All right. So he's right there pulling up. And here we go. So what do you think? Up front. You know, before I even see the inside, there's a lot to like about the Ram. Uh-huh. At least on the inside because I like the fit and finish a lot. Um, on the outside, man, honestly, this is blowing this away. <laughs> blowing, blowing. <laughs> for blowing me, it away? For me, okay. For me, dude, blowing the ram away. Uh huh. Honestly, I don't love the white paint. Okay, this is uh, like okay. work truck white, right? Uh, it's like you know, like Toyota has the wind chill and stuff, and it has like this. The it's pearl. not just this white white. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. So, so that right there is already a knock. So maybe if the, a color change would kind of kind of set this one above for me. Okay. Um, even the white on the black, it, I just don't like this white, man. Okay. It, it, it's, it's really bothering me. And for me personally, I'm more of a showy guy. I mean, it's yeah. shallow hell here, but like I really. <laughs> Hey, you're being honest. I mean, you know, honestly, that, man, start. I, I like I like the bling and the pizzazz, and this looks so sharp to me. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm coming from bougie driving and like, you know, the Cayenne and stuff, and yeah. you know, I, I, I it's sad to say I like a little more flash. Uh huh. To me, this is like, I mean, it looks good. It, it don't, it's it's not it's not terrible at all. It looks good. Uh huh. But for me, my taste, I like this the GMC already better on the outside. I, I just do. So So let me get your reaction on the interior. So hop okay. over to this side here. Alright. I want to get your reaction. Oh my god. <laughs> this is like, okay, okay. I have not sit in one of these man. This is like <laughs> this is like um, a, an escalade man. This is super nice man. Okay. This is way nicer. I mean, I like the red, I like wow. the ram on the inside, right? Uh -huh. But and and I was like looking at tundras before that, so that was a step up from a tundra on the inside. This is like a step up from that. 
Yes. Wow. Oh, and, and look, I mean, you got two tone leather. You've got you've got the line. I mean, this is everything. This is the kind of stuff I look for, and I'm like, okay, if I'm gonna go for brown leather, like this would be it. Wow. Because okay. normally, like brown leather gets old, right? And it's like, it looks like grandpa's. It's just ugly brown leather, but this looks so good, man. This is saddle for you. Oh man. And this, this is, is real leather, and you. Well, Frank told you these have the massagers too. Let me show you how to use that oh, real quick. Man. Hold on. Yeah. That hurt my feelings, guys. That hurt my feelings. Alrighty, so go ahead. And I can't. I don't even want to turn it on, man. So the big oh, here it is. There it is. So yep. So you see the button right here? So push that button right there. There you go. And it should just pop on. That's the massage button? Yeah. That's like quick access, man. Oh yeah. You don't have to go fumbling here, you just okay, yeah, I just... need the massage, let me just turn it on right. <laughs> you know? Yep. Wow. You, and this has a power oh, steering. I feel it now, I feel it now. So there's a toggle right here, so watch so watch the screen right there. Hopefully you guys can see. So you have massage, so there's a few. That you can actually choose. Oh man. I might buy this today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Actually here. This is crazy, man. Let me um This is so nice. Dude, I'm not I'm actually really shocked by your like your reaction to this. <laughs> this is this is tiny, but okay. I mean you could forgive the truck for this because of all the other stuff in here. Yeah, do you I see mean, the suede roof too? It has a suede roof. Have, oh my gosh. I mean they must have a reason for not having a full panel roof you know in 2023 yeah. right but 2024 now but like this is really nice man like i can't imagine there, oh i already know like the tundra that's what i'm comparing it to right the, the tundra is not even going to be close to this on the interior no it won't be not even close man. i love tundra but like it, it's more oh. It's not a Lexus. That's all I'll say. If, if Lexus had a Tundra, it would be like I was just thinking that literally scary. yesterday. Bro. Yeah. I was just thinking that yesterday. If they had that, that would be it's where be I would be looking. Yeah. But this well, blows it away. And Tundra, honestly, it's like at this point, it's fanboys. And yeah. I mean, I'm a, dude. I, I love Tundra. I love Toyota. I'm trying to open my eyes away from that. And you're showing me these trucks, which I've never sat side by side, and I'm just like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I've been missing this, man. This is insane. Yeah. Well, let's drive it. Let's drive it. This has six point two. Absolutely, Let, man. Do you have the key for the ram? I do. Okay. Well, this this lock that, and then we'll just okay. drive this. All, all right. right. All right. Cool. 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 So, what did you just say just now? I, I don't even want to go look at a Tundra. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's like, why am I holding on to the old dog? You know? It's like, hey. hey, you know what, Toyota? Shame on you because to, you've had so many years to yes. really make that thing amazing. And you can, I know you can, but for whatever reason, they don't want to, or they don't yeah. care, or they've got other focuses like the RAV and all this stuff, but hey man, uh, you just lost me. Let's well, see. well the, the key to it, take a left right here, okay. the key to the Tundra is, most people who buy Toyotas, they buy because of the reliability, they buy because of the reason that's, that's me too, man, that's yeah, me too. There you go, yeah. But these new trucks have caught up, and they've gotten so much better. You take a left right here. We're gonna, we're gonna hop on the highway. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So this has a 6.2 liter, so it has 420 horsepower, okay. 460 I think pound-feet of torque, 10-speed transmission. So yeah, this truck is gonna it's gonna be faster than the Ram. Well, I'm just gonna be honest. And, with and you. I'll tell you that on paper, you look at the high the Toyota iForce Max, that has higher specs than this. Yeah. But in terms of the feel of the drive, I mean, I'm getting massage right now. You're not getting that <laughs> on the Tundra, bro. Dude, in terms of the the comfort of this thing, and like we went over, I mean, I could already tell like the bump we just went over coming out of there. I know it's going to be, I mean, even the Ram like just blew the, the suspension and the air suspension and this, the, the ride of the Ram. There's also a feel of the truck, man. This feels more solid than yeah. the Tundra. It, it's just kind of like it's, it's beefier or it's kind of like it's more present. Yeah. It's more of a presence in here and in the Ram than the Tundra. Hands down. I mean, yeah. it's just that's the way it is. Yeah, that's crazy. The Tundra felt kind of light actually, too, because when I was turning corners and moving around, I mean, I, I went in the parking lot with the new Tundra. It was a 2024 1794 edition, uh, and I was going around like I'm slow. I'm in a parking lot, I'm going around corners, and this thing was like my family was going crazy, right? <laughs> and, and they yeah. were like, dude, stop it, right? But I wanted to see how it cornered, but it's it's a lighter feel. This is heavy duty. This is, and this is not even heavy duty, but it's like, 
it is it's more of a heavy duty ride and a solid ride yeah. i feel like this thing is like a monster man coming out of its its shell here this is good <laughs> this is really good that's good man so you got to give us an acceleration when you're on the highway okay. here so yeah brakes work oh yeah brakes work oh. i love this ride this ride is bomb. you get that that v8 power you have that v8 sound oh yeah I mean, do I even care about gas mileage? Am I, am I asking that question? You do have to burn a premium in this one, but hey. Oh, you do got to go premium? You do have to go premium okay. with this I one, I mean, yes. that's all the other cars. Yeah. So. Do you have Costco? I do. That's yeah, all you course, need right there, buddy. Course. They got the best right. gas. They yeah, have they do. top they do. tier. So I got to go premium. Is that, why is that? What makes, what part, what of the engine that makes the... It's a 6.2. So it's just bigger, like what? Well, well yeah. So the 6.2 liter, the way they tuned it, you have to run uh, the higher, higher the octane injectors, things like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Now you got to try on the Super Cruise. You ready? Okay. This yeah. is, you're going to be. You already seem like you like the truck. I'm just going to make it worse for you because at this point, this just makes it even better. So this has Super Cruise. Look at this green. Okay, now I know we're live. It's got a oh, green light. Yeah, I did. Wow, dude. So, so I did it wrong. That was my bad. Now this will actually turn the signal on. So you see it turn the signal on. This thing vibrated my butt. I thought I was sitting on my phone, dude. <laughs> you see, it turns signals for you. It yeah, turns, yeah, turns yeah. put the signal on and it changed lanes. Excuse me. It's it's better than this Model Y right here, man. It, Look at this. Yeah. This is crazy. Dude. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I am not a GM fanboy. I just want to make that clear in this video. Neither I, am I, man. <laughs> I, I, is... I, look, I did not expect you to have that kind of reaction. I was like, oh, cause so I just want you to know, I think that the Ram's interior is better. You like the Ram interior better. I do, per personally, personally, I do. Sure, sure. But seeing your reaction to this interior, I was like laughing, I was like, wow, I was not expecting that. Well, it's a layout thing too. Uh, let me tell you, man, the vertical screen on the Ram, I mean, I get I get it, but it's like, this is Tesla 2018 and 19, man. Oh, it's, true, okay. It's, I mean, the, the horizontal display, there's nothing like it. We're used to seeing everything horizontal anyway, I mean, other than maybe filming on your phone, right? But sure. this is, it's way better, man. You just yeah. get a way better UI and layout. And that's why I think Tesla moved over to the horizontal because they're the king of UI and of, and of, and of infotainment. They are the gotcha. king. You know, and they're horizontal now too. So I think it's the way to go, man. And, yeah. and, and the Ram, I really liked it. But this is, this. Is, I would buy this, man. I would buy this today, actually. I might buy this today, actually. <laughs> This is amazing, man. I, I'm not kidding you. Yeah. Uh, and, and I mean, who, there, somebody's going to be like, hey, who would trade a Cayenne for a... This guy might do it because yeah. this truck is freaking awesome. How does it ride? Like, how, is it comfortable? It's beautiful, man. I mean, it. you know, it, the, the steering is what you would expect for a truck. I mean, I'm coming from a more of a high-end sports car, but like, so it, it's looser. I got to get used to that, but every truck is like that. It's super comfortable. Uh, again, I'm getting a massage right now. The air suspension, I'm assuming this has air suspension because... It does not actually. It, wow. I mean, this is riding like the Dodge to me that had it. The one we had yeah. that had air suspension now, on it. Now, this could have magnetic ride control. I don't know if these have... I, I have to look it up. I'm not really sure on that. But It's like, super comfortable. Yeah, yeah. and it's it really super. is. Like, you know, that's why people buy these trucks. I mean, these have independent front suspension mm -hmm. up front. And most half tons do, and that's kind of why they ride so much better than like the HD trucks do too. So, I, and you know what? I don't like a super super cushy ride. If you get in like a Lexus, that's not an F Sport. Yeah, it's too it's too much like a cloud. I yeah. don't like that. I want to feel the road a little bit. Yeah, I I, I want to feel the tires. I want to feel what the road is doing. There's a sportiness to that that I really love. So this is probably slightly over that. It's probably slightly towards the cloud feeling, maybe a little too much. But I can live with it for the comfort and everything else I'm getting. I can live with that. Okay. And the ride is super, super good, man. This is super good ride. How did the brakes feel? Um, pretty good. Okay, yeah. <laughs> but let, let me let me use them here. <laughs> let me scare somebody in front of me. But, uh, yeah, I, I think uh, normal. I mean, I, I don't notice anything crazy or anything out of the ordinary. I think. Um, maybe I'm gonna actually. I might. I might try to hit the gas again. We've got so much traffic here. Dude. Yeah, I know. This is crazy. Get off the road. We're filming. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's good. It's got good pickup. It's got good responsiveness. Um, you know, I'm looking for reliability too. I, I, you know, coming from Toyota, I want it to be reliable. I don't want to have little problems and little stupid issues all the time. And like with Toyota, you know, the, the old saying, you don't have to even change the oil. I mean, you do, but like, you know, the thing's going to run forever. That's kind of what is always in the back of my mind, right? So I'm still looking for that that level of uh, 
reliability in this in, in a truck, right? Yeah. So, but if this is solid, and, I, and I've trusted you, Justin, and, and you know I can read on, on this stuff too, but like, oh, hey, it told me that I left the turn signal on. That's there you crazy. Go. Yeah, I didn't know that either. Tundra won't be doing that. I, I really, yeah. I mean, as long as I'm not going to have these little problems and little things that come up that I'm going to have to be going in to get serviced. I don't want to deal with that. I just want it to be solid. And, you know, if this is what I got here, I like it. I'm in, man. I'm totally in on this thing. That's awesome, dude. 100%. So, Gabe, what do you think? Ram or GMC? <laughs> it's got to be GMC for me. Okay. And hands down. But probably because I am a bougie guy, a little bit of a bougie guy, and I like the interior and fit and finish was just phenomenal phenomenal it reminded me actually of the jeep grand wagoneer my wife and i got into this thing we absolutely loved everything about it it was so luxurious and we walked away because we thought you know what it's expensive and we're worried about the reliability and if we're going to invest this much in a car right when i sit in this thing I, that's exactly what i think of the grand wagoneer it reminds me exactly it's so luxurious yeah. and just top of the line and everything i mean just amazing amazing truck good job gmc good yeah. job i and in fact i could i could part with my cayenne my porsche cayenne that is it's got some good it's got some good upgrades on it like you know the leather dash and it's got the the sport chrono package on there it's e-hybrid i've got that electric torque and it, it is fun fun to drive i could leave that behind and I could get this today. That is so I actually to might that. I might do it in the next 24 hours. So <laughs> very good. The other the other key too, me honestly is I've got to get something that's better than my wife's car, right? <laughs> I've got to like yeah. I've got to be. It's, we just got her a Model X, and I love driving that thing super fast. But this has massaging seats. She doesn't have that, right? I want to make her jealous <laughs> and like get something that she's going to be like. I wish I had this in my car. That's what this is right here. That's why I'm going to get this one. Hope you guys liked the video. Special shout out to Gabe. Really cool guy. Um, he definitely likes the GMC. I think that that's what he's going to go with. I really thought that he was going to like the Ram. And they have one coming in with the panel, sunroof, things like that. I want him to see it with that in there. But I think he loves just the overall aesthetics and just the features that he can get in that uh, Sierra. So we're going to go ahead and talk to Frank and let him know that he might be going with the truck. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon.